Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Week 25 is so happy. What a great start. Why is this week happier than others? You see, I think most weeks are happy but this is happier. Eee, great. Why? Why? It's another life event. They're really important, aren't they? I think some are a bit scary. Moving to a new town. That can be scary. This one is definitely a happy one. Great! What could it be? Something that you are sure is happy. Hmm. So what have we looked at? Mm, can you remember? We have looked at moving to a new town and going to a new school. They are both very important. Everyone goes to a new school sometimes. But not everyone has to move to a new town. That's the one that's a bit scary. Or what about the new school? Which one do you think would be more scary? They can both be scary and could even make you unhappy. Hmm. Now, we know that we've got our family to help us and they want to do the best thing for us. But it's still a bit scary, isn't it? So what is this one? Hmm, one more. And it's happy. This one should always be good. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited to find out what it is. We are going to get a new pet for the family. Oh, well, that is great. Now, I really like animals. I think my favourite is fish. I've got lots of fish. They're really easy to take care of. What about you? Which one do you like? Hmm. Have you got a pet? Hmm. Which pet is in your house? I've got some friends that have got lots of pets. They've got tortoise, turtle, cat, fish, all in one house. Ah, now, have you got the pet? Not yet. Yet, ah. That is our important word this week. Yet. It's very easy to say, isn't it? But how do we use it? One word with two meanings again. Oh, okay. Now, we've had that before, haven't we? We had the word since. Hmm, do you remember? Then we had the word ago. Ago, that only really had one meaning. But now we're back to one word and two meanings. So what are the two meanings? The first one is used a lot. Maybe you, you would hear it every day. 
It means something has not happened, but it will happen soon. When? Well, usually we don't know. I have not had my lunch yet. I'm sure you will have your lunch soon. Not yet. Okay, so the word since, we used it to talk about things in the past. I have lived here since May. Yet, we use to talk about things that are going to happen in the future. Oh dear, she really needs her lunch. What about the other meaning? We can also use yet to mean but. Now, it's good to know this, but we don't use yet in this way very often. We will today, but we don't use it very often. Hmm. I'm really hungry, yet I would not eat your food. Uh, right, okay, there's a lot of very unhealthy food there. But you wouldn't eat it. It looks very yummy. So, I'm really hungry, yet I would not eat your food. So that use of the word yet is a little bit unusual but still good to use and good to know. Let's talk about the pet. Great! That's what we're here for today. It is another life event. Everyone loves having a pet. Yes! Well, actually, a cat makes my eyes go a little bit red. So cats are really super, but I don't like being near them. Why do we all love being with small animals? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're usually very cute. Do they love us? I think so. Which pet will we get? There are so many different animals to choose from. Hmm, which one is your favourite? I think I'm going to ask that lots of times today. We haven't chosen one yet, but we are talking about it. Hmm, another life event that needs everyone to be happy. You don't just go out and buy a parrot because maybe dad really does not like parrots, just too noisy. So we do have to talk about it. It's a family decision. Hmm. Guess what I want? I want a snake. What? A st oh, uh, uh, ew, no. Why? They are very scary, yet I still want one. Whoa. Now the green snake looks a little bit scary. But that blue snake, wow. I do not want that in my house. Oh dear, oh dear. It has to be a family decision. Mum wants a cat, 
and Dad wants a dog. Oh dear, we can't agree. That is why we can't buy anything yet. Oh, this is going to take a lot of thinking about. What can we all agree on? What about the snake? Mum said a big no to the snake. But she hasn't even touched one yet. Maybe she will fall in love with the snake. Hmm, do you think so? Some people love cats so much. Yet the cat seems to just walk away. Hmm. Why does the cat do that? We could say the cat is very independent. It likes to live doing its own thing. It seems to like people, but it does just walk away and do its own thing. So, what will you choose? Mm. I've asked that question again. We talked a lot and all thought that a dog would be the best. I think there's going to be one very happy dog. I think I would choose a dog if it was for my whole family. The problem now is that we haven't seen one that we all like yet. There are big dogs, small dogs, cute dogs, noisy dogs. What kind of dog should you get? Hmm. I think it's just got to be a friendly dog. That would be the most important thing. There are many different kinds. A big dog is strong yet beautiful. A small dog is cute yet brave. Ooh. Now there's two very different dogs there. Maybe you have to think about how big is your house? How big is your garden? Where can you take the dog for a walk? If you live in a small apartment, do you want a big happy dog that's jumping around all the time? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe you would have to go for a small dog. Hmm. Maybe the small dog's noisy and you've got a little baby brother or sister. Hmm. Oh dear. It's quite difficult. So when will you get the dog? We don't want to get one yet because we haven't got anything for it. Well, there's some great things there that are going to make the dog happy. Let's not forget, the dog is moving to a new home. Maybe the dog is going to be a little bit scared. We've got to try and make it feel happy and comfortable. It will need a bed, a bowl, some food and toys. Maybe other things as well. What can you think of? Uh, maybe a, a lead to take it for a walk. Maybe a collar 
so that it's got its name and address around its neck all the time. Lots of things to make the dog happy and safe. A little bit like when you move to a new city. Right, let's go and get them. We are all excited now, so want to buy lots of things. Oh, there's a very, very good place to go. They really do have a lot of things. I think different animals need different things. The problem is that we haven't found a pet shop yet. Ah, so let's not forget, it's a new city. So maybe we know where great restaurants are and we know where the good schools are, but we haven't looked for a pet shop yet. So. Lots of things to do before our new pet can come home. This does look like a good pet shop. What can we see there? I think we can see things for a hamster, a cat, a bird, a dog. I can't see anything for a fish. And that would be my favourite. Now we have to take care of it. Of course we do. Now, having a pet is a big responsibility. The pet can't go to the shop and buy its own food. You have to do that. We sort of have to do everything for the pet. We all want to take it out for a walk, but we don't know where yet. Sometimes the park will say no dogs. So where are you going to go? Hmm, right. So it's got to be a place where they allow dogs. I could take it to the park. Hmm. Do you think I should let it jump in the lake? Oh, my word. I had a dog a long time ago and she would love jumping in the river. She would go for a little swim she would come out, she would have a very big shake, and then get back in my car. Hmm. My car was always a little bit dirty. So what do you think? Is that a good idea? Maybe the dog needs swimming lessons. So, what is next? We are going to the dog pound tomorrow. Oh, dog pound. Oh, what's that? A dog pound is where dogs live before they find a home. Sometimes people have lots of puppies and they really don't want them. They can't take care of them. So what do you do? with puppies that you just can't take care of. Well, you take them to a dog pound and there, hopefully, they can find a new family. Do you know yet what will come home with us? Well, not really. There are lots of different dogs at the dog pound. I think you have to go and find a dog that seems to like you. 
Mm. If you go up to a dog and maybe it growls at you, well, maybe that's not the dog that's going to be happy with you. But if there's a dog that seems happy to see you, well, maybe that's a dog that would be happy to live in your home. Very difficult decision. I'm excited. Yes, it's very exciting. Well, we found the best dog in the world. But he can't come home yet. Oh dear. Now that is a very beautiful dog. He looks happy. He looks like the sort of dog that you can just give a hug to and go to the park and run around with. Yes, I think that would be a great dog for me. So why can't he come home yet? He is really healthy yet still needs some vaccinations. So the dog has been living in the dog pound. In the dog pound, there are always some vets that make sure the dog is really healthy. It would be very sad if you take the dog home and he's sick because he's caught something bad from one of the other dogs. So, the dog pound always makes sure the dog is really healthy, really strong and ready to come and live with you. Life is great. Wow! What a super thing to say. When our dog comes home, our lives really will have changed so much. New home, new school, and a new pet. That is a lot of new things. Which one do you think will have the best effect on your life? Mm. They're all very important, aren't they? A good place to live. A good place to learn. A good friend to have. Your pet will be your friend. Which one is more important? Hmm, that's a difficult and very interesting question. Which one would you say? I don't know. Since, ago, yet. Three super words. We have been here since 2019 and I started my new school almost two years ago but we haven't got our wonderful dog yet wow what a great sentence we're talking about a very long period of time with some great life events Home, school, pet. Super. Three super words. Those words have been really useful since ago yet. Really useful. She's so happy to hear them. They helped us to talk about some great but scary life events. 
Now, it's time to look at something new. Hmm. What's next? It could be anything. Do you want to find out? Well, I hope we see you soon and we can find out. Before we go, let's meet our final two friends. Here they are, and they would like to say thank you. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.